Hello again, and welcome to part 21 of my Horizon Forbidden West stream. Um, yeah, I guess let's get into it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm feeling a little bit scatterbrained right now. Uh, usually I do my intro way quicker after starting the stream, and this time I had an issue with my tweet disappearing that I had prepared, so I needed to type it out again. la di da di da Anyways, I have a little confession to make. Um, after yesterday's stream, where I streamed twice for two and a half hours for a total of five hours, I felt like the content of my stream has gotten a bit lackluster. Because <clears throat> as you all know, uh, if you've been watching at least, um, I have been complaining about wanting to get one single thing over and over and over and over and over which is a better stealth outfit because i love stealth and the only stealth outfit i've gotten was like the crappiest stealth outfit you can get at the start of the game like this one <laughs> it's completely useless so i've been wanting to get the legendary stealth outfit i tried for five hours yesterday to get materials to achieve it and it was a bust so after the stream, I very quickly tried to find an Apex Dreadwing, and I did. So I actually got the final component that I need for the outfits that I desperately want so much. Um, as for how I got it, I honestly wouldn't have found it. I found this like a guide on the internet that said that there's a place over here that apparently has one even though I thought that this place was inaccessible due to the blackness, but apparently there is a place here. There's just a Dreadwing and the Stormbirds chilling, and I went there and I found one. So, with that, I am quickly going to make the outfit. Um, basically, the main reason why I did is, like I said, I felt like the enjoyment of my stream may have been a bit lackluster because I've been grinding way too much and doing side shit instead of actually progressing the story which people might care about and uh, doing outposts and hunting grounds and actually fun challenges like that so for the sake of actually getting somewhere with my content i decided let's just get the thing that i want it takes like five minutes off stream and now that i have it we can carry on doing actual fun stuff However, I do think that I might want to upgrade this outfit you. a bit. Oh. So this should be... Utara Winter Weave? Finally have it. Oh, I'm so excited. Ah, perfect fit. May you find victory in that oh, I love this outfit, it looks or so good. At least save yourself from wound or two. Oh, and I even have like the Utaru body paint stuff, that's really cool. I guess that makes sense because my previous outfit has like red body paint all over it. I do want to kind of see if I can paint this outfit though. Painter, face paints. Can I not? Oh, dire to my left. Oopsie. Oh, that's actually worked out. Okay, let's see if I can put a cute color on this thing. Eh, eh. Nothing really strikes my fancy right now. I actually like the default one the most, so I'll stick with the default. Now next, crafting bench. In case you're wondering, that is literally all I did last uh, offline, just I just found an Apex Dreadwing and I killed it, and I've killed multiple Apex Dreadwings in previous streams, so it's not like it's anything special that you missed. Ooh, I need lots of Tide Ripper parts. I think it is somewhat interesting to at least get to level 3, because it boosts my Silent Strike, which I think is very important for a certain hunting ground, and I get two very good weaves. Mmm... Also, low profile has increased. Unfortunately, Silent Strike Heal is like the final one, which is Apex Slaughter Spines. <laughs> so that's gonna be a thing. 
Ooh, three more Thunderjaw Tails. Jesus. Upgrading equipment. That's like one grievance that I have. Upgrading things in this game takes so freaking long. It is honestly part of the reason why I was kind of reluctant about... Like, I got this outfit in my stream yesterday. I bought it from the arena. And I thought about grinding to upgrade it. But then I thought, yeah, if I need to f kill, like, multiple Slither Fangs multiple frost claws, find stormbirds, which I haven't really encountered much yet outside of the arena, and then fight apex behemoths and apex stormbirds, it's gonna take a ridiculous amount of time. I guess it makes for longevity, but at the same time, Jesus, things just take so long. Slitherfang grinders, thunderjaw parts, Apex Elemental Claw Strider Heart. Oof. And Tide Rippers. Oh boy. Um, if I'm near a Tide Ripper, I think I'll just go for it. But for the time being, let's just enjoy the outfit as is. In order to, you know, get somewhere in today's stream. So, I do not have Silent Strike Gain on this outfit yet, which is unfortunate and there is actually a tide ripper over there hmm it's actually tempting to go there now because i can also unlock this campfire and check out what this is you know what as a little distraction why not do that um what is this i don't know what that is And this is saltwater fish. You know what? Let's make our way to Blood Choke first and maybe make our way towards the Tide Ripper in a casual fashion while accomplishing other things. I'm not gonna call my mount because if it starts destroying whatever is there, it might be a bit too easy. Uh, right! I bought Triple Shredder for this. Ooh, I'm so excited. I was thinking now. If I follow it upstream, I should find a Tekka. And the uh, source of the poison. Wait, what? Upstream. Let's maybe tag the quest so that I know for certain which one it is. Twenty seven. It's not too bad. Uh, upstream, I guess. Wait, what? A bit confusing, but okay. I'm trying to think. What? Machine. It's taken down recently. Yeah, just some shards. I'm thinking. What do I want to accomplish next? As in, like. Um, are there skills that I want to acquire? Are there collectibles I want to get? Um, I honestly don't really know. I feel like I could con I could continue the main quest, but it's gonna be a pretty hefty one, I guess. And yeah, I'm slightly concerned if I'm like up to level. These machines couldn't have been brought down easily. And there's blood. This is a ravager. Man, it's completely destroyed. Um, yeah, I kind of don't really know what I really want to accomplish right now, because this outfit is like the main thing I wanted. It just took a single enemy kill. Barely walked away from this fight. To get... What is this purple thing? Or just a valuable chest? Okay. I guess I just keep going up. So what I was thinking is maybe do a few side quests. Sounds like fighting. Is that the missing squad? It looks like a tech is with them. I better get in there. Backup 
Oh wow, I actually jumped off the, the rock there. And that was a horrible whiff. Man, that thing jumped far. I know it's supposed to be a monkey, but that was like ridiculous agility. I need to double check what the main skill is that's boosted with this outfit. Oh, there's a Tekka, right on my left. Just like, that. Hit it again. <laughs> like, look at that leap, it's incredible. Clumber jaw. More looty loots. How am I on medicines? Ooh, not that good. Right, I did use a fair bit of medicine against the Dreadwing. Um, not that it was a difficult fight. And the chief's champion. Your help came just in time. Well, let's listen first. Just kidding, let's loot first. Aloy. Good timing. Hateka, these weren't ordinary machines. They were overridden by rebels. Regala. Another poison to contend with. How did this start? We fought our way up the river to here. And then... We found that. We advanced to investigate. We had just started the climb when these machines attacked. Seemed like they were on patrol. A pile of dead machines, a poison river, and Regal's rebels. That can't be a coincidence. I agree. Rest. And then head back to Thornmarsh. Little Zella is waiting for you. Aloy and I will take it from here. Yes, Commander. If there are rebels up there, it could be a trap. We'll fight our way through regardless. You with me? Let's find a way up. On your lead, Aloy. Two things I just realized. One is, um, I was a bit surprised that the favorite outfit that I wanted to get was an Utaru outfit. But then again, because they are kind of one of the most peaceful to knock. It actually makes perfect sense that they are the ones that try to be stealthy. Secondarily, at the very start of the game, the Tenakth are painted as like something you should really be scared of. But in all honesty, uh, all of the Tenakth I've encountered in this game so far have been very, very reasonable. Apart from Regal's Rebels, obviously. But you know, I've actually been <coughs> really pleased with my interactions with these Tenakth. Up this way! I don't know. It's a small little detail, but it's nice when the NPCs that you have to talk to are actually likable and not like douchebags or anything. I see you, chest. Okay. Uh, it looks like we'll have to climb up the falls. Okay. Through the blood choke. Let's do it. Sorry, my uh, throat is a little bit... What's the right word? <sighs> this water smells like rot. Try living with it. I don't want to say coffee. My throat Damn, is just a bit um, itchy. All over my hands. <coughs> don't let go. Don't have to tell me twice. So if I uh, cough oh, a little bit, I'm sorry cold. about that. Also, like I said, I need to double check. Quiet movement is the main bit. It's not the most useful. Silent Strike and Silent Heal is way more useful. So yeah, I definitely want to upgrade my outfit at some point. So many dead machines. How? So I did feel like I saw a Tremor Tusk up here, but like it's such a mess 
it's very difficult to distinguish everything accurately. I'm okay. Is this the way I need to go? Hear that? Or maybe this way. Sounds like a machine. Is that a tremor tusk? Because the tremor tusk I had to fight in the arena was way worse than the story. What? We're exposed here. He hasn't seen us. What is that thing? Go away. I've not seen that machine before. Oh, it's a frost claw or a fire claw, rather. Okay. I think we're clear. We're gonna have to fight that thing, aren't we? Probably. Machines weak to purge water. Yep, rubble fire claw. Okay, that fire claw looked very peculiar at first. I don't even know how to describe what I think I saw. I really wish I had boosted low profile right now. Thought the lowlanders would have come looking for this place by now. Guess the red poisons made them weak. I'll have your tongue, scab. Let's tag his path. Probably should have paid attention to the other soldier who was looking at me. Did anybody else see something? This guy's weak to plasma. Interesting. They're still suspicious. Let's be very patient and do the stealth play, the stealth gameplay that I love so much. that the guy was going to walk right need. into me which meant that I was forced to attack him unfortunately stay sharp we'll find her got them should probably save this weapon for the frost claw Screen being reckless here, so. That is terrifying. Are you hiding in that grass? Wow, okay. Um, yeah, I still need boosts to my silent strike in order to be able to kill all of these guys reliably. Some kind of rebel camp. So many machines. Butcher. Uh. There's fresh water coming from those falls. That dam must be blocking it. We'll have to take out the rebels first. So let's not make the same mistake this time. Two against many. Look All for the soldier. lowland. Keep an eye out for machines or lowland. 
Thought the lowlanders would have come looking for this place by now. Guess the little poison is coming in. I'll have your tongue, scab. Easy, attacker. That didn't kill him? I thought I'd kill him earlier. I am confused. Why did that kill him before in one shot? Is it because it was from the back? Or... Do alerted enemies take reduced damage from stealth attacks? I wonder. It's an, it's an interesting idea to test at some point. Not really sure who's hunting who here. I've got a good feeling about this. I guess I should probably focus that guy first. I don't really have a good close range weapon. I mean, I have a bolt caster, but it's not the strongest, is it? Reload speed. This one is actually really useful. Yeah, but I don't have Boltcaster um, skills, do I? Spread last. Yeah, I don't have the. Although I am close to a level up, if I'm not mistaken. There's nothing here! I want this kill! Here! Uh, here we go! Yeah, that Take didn't kill down. either. No! I do feel like being alerted is uh, a bad thing. You know what? Uh, how do I fight these guys with the shields again? I completely forgot. Whoa, what is going on? I'm stuck under the fan. So that nearly one shot that guy. That's crazy. I can keep going. Let's see if this is useful against the far guy. I mean, I think it did a decent amount of damage. Look at just the gears on its claws. I haven't fought many bear machines before, but they are scary as heck, I can tell you that. Actually, a one shot. I should maybe uh, do more stealth from ranged since stealth kills seem to be useless. Which means I do need a better piercing weapon and a build that accommodates my focused shot a bit. I do know that there was a legendary outfit that gave stealth ranged, I think. 
is this fire claw because it's a quest gave stuff, unlike the arena machines. Uh, I don't know. Oh, I need fire claw circulators for strike pieces. Um, I was about to say I don't know all of the specific parts I need for all my outfits and weapons anymore. But I mean, it gets me closer to something. Let's double check this guy. Choke log canister, purge water canister. Are there any enemies left? I don't think so. Let's just look around and loot, I'd say, before we go and check out the center bit. I wonder if I can sell common resources like wood and stuff, because I did waste a lot of metal shards on the arena. So being able to just hoard some resources here and sell those later, that would be very, very useful. I don't know what has my throat so tangled up right now, but it does feel like... A bit dry, but it's not. I don't know. Maybe I should get some water to drink for the stream. Which is a necessity for all streamers to get, but for some reason I haven't gotten used to that yet. So there's the final dude. Let's see if... Stealth striking this guy insta-kills him. Because if it does, that confirms our theory of our theory from before. Yeah, that does seem to be oh. gun. That's the last one. What were the rebels doing here? Let's find out. Have a look around. I thought I saw something over by the dam. I'll go check it out. And once again, oh, I'm already full on um, berries. Once again, I did a fight against a big machine, and I noticed that there's a ballista right at the end of the fight. I really need to like scan the area more and find these ballistas more beforehand. Because they could be not only useful, but fun to use. I thought there was a lot of stuff here. There's some loot up there. That's a death trap for me. I could do some damage. And there's a weapon in case I need it. So I'll take note of the position of that weapon. In case more enemies show up. For now, let's get this and then head down. Oops. Well, it could be useful to take to take that with me as well. And let's throw this one down. Wow, she actually held it. That's kind of impressive. I wonder if there is a weave for plus two movement speed with heavy weapons, because it would be useful to use these at regular speed. I will take any bit of gold I can get right now. It's a machine lore. Well, that explains all these machines. But why put it here? My focus might show me more. I mean, it's pretty deliberate that I put it here, right? Makes, Wait here. makes perfect sense if you ask me. Did I miss something over here? The rebels had a large operation here. There has to be something else that'll tell us what was going on. I thought I saw some equipment over by the falls. What was attracting my attention here? Was it this? Oh yeah, it's just a chest. I don't see anything over here. There's a guy over there. I doubt that's the clue I need. I saw some equipment on the cliffs near the falls. Oh, 
Oh, I see something here. Machine scrap and broken corruptor components. Used for overrides. Are the rebels testing them here? So all these dead machines are what? Failures? Maybe. Where's the next piece of the puzzle? I don't see anything. Oh, is there something up there? Message for Gunda. There's a chest up there still. I honestly really like the color scheme of this outfit. It's really nice. Don't think I can follow you there. What's up, Granny? Can't keep up. Although I'm really bad at ages, so I wouldn't even know how old she is from guessing. It's a message from one of the sons of Prometheus. It says the rebels were about to leave, but decided to guard the dam after the water started to clear. They saw an opportunity and seized it. Hmm. Come back, Aloy! Where is the... Am I supposed to be here? I don't know. This sounds very ominous. This hissing like something is about to explode. More dead ravagers here. Can I shoot that off still? Okay, this is a curiosity test. Oh yeah, I can. Cool. So, I have no idea where to look right now. Although... No, I thought I saw something. I guess that's next, right? Just a massive mound of machines. Or no, I see something up there. Okay, I missed that one. For some reason, I'm just completely blind this stream. After I've checked this point, I'm quickly going to grab something to drink, just in case, because of my throat. One hit from this thing could do a lot of damage. There's one of these at the grove, in the arena. To put down machines. I think I know what happened. The rebels were luring machines here so they could override them. But they couldn't get them all. So they killed some with the ballista, forming the dam. Once they realized it was blocking clean water from flushing away the blood choke, they decided to stay and protect it. Spineless cowards, poisoning us until we waste away. The dam, can you break it? I'll take a look. I should scan the dam. Might show me a weak point. Is this easy? Okay, so like I said, let me first grab something to drink. And this must be vile to swim in. I'll wait here. Okay, beer beat. I'm back. I just realized, sorry. I just realized, if you look at this piece of the map, 
it's actually a beautiful hole in the mountain. I don't know. Didn't didn't notice this as being like a volcano-esque structure with a cavity before. It's kind of cool. So. There's an explosive sack from the machine inside the dam. Right. One hit could blow the whole thing up. I just need to find a way to expose it. Is that what I need to do? Maybe the ballista? Or do I need to climb up here? I might be able to pull part of the dam open. Expose the sack. Oh, pull it open, I see. That's no good. Can't use the pull caster on that. Oh, that maybe? Aha, uh -huh. cool. There's the sack. It's gonna take a powerful shot to blow it up. And ballista. I can't do both at once. The ballista. Ateka, can you fire a bolt from the ballista while I hold this thing open? I'm on it. I thought she couldn't get up there earlier. Let's hope this works. Come on, Ateka, hurry up. That was a bit of a slow bolt from a powerful ballista like that. And my pet is just watching over us. Nice flying. Ha ha. It's kind of funny that he derps around and cuts things like this. We did it. It's gone. After all this time, we're finally free of the poisoned waters. Thank you, Aloy. I must return to Thorn Marsh. Meet me there when you can. You deserve a proper reward. Aloy has really proven herself to basically every single Tanakh in this region, hasn't she? She's really stepped up and uh, solved a lot of issues. There's Thornmarsh. The rebels must have been spying on them. Might be a nice glide down. It would be a nice glide down, but I need to go a different way because I was gonna go here. That's the way I need to go, right? Okay. I said that I can't glide to Thornmarsh, but so be it. I was gonna explore the question mark, get a quick Tide Ripper kill, and then I will look to get another side quest done. Or maybe head for a hunting ground, or I could do the main quest as well. Uh, the main quest will lead me to a cauldron, and there is one other cauldron that I still need to check out. Also, there's still some machines that I actually haven't found yet. Oh, what? Like the first entry? I think stalkers are not on this. Oh no, they are. Man, what are the machines that I haven't seen yet? Curious. Ooh, I can climb up there, but there's nothing there, it seems. Although, judging by the logic from my little offline bits, that there is actually stuff hidden in places that you can't see. Also, if you noticed, if you watched previous streams, the region I actually went to, to get the Apex Dreadwing, is a region I actually tried exploring before. 
because if you are near the arena, you can have a look up at the mountains, and there is actually a, um, what you call it, a stormbird flying around, but the stormbird icon isn't on the map, and I was intrigued by this before, and I tried checking out the area, but I guess I didn't really scan the rocks, because um, I didn't really think about going up to the stormbirds, stormbirds location itself, or maybe I just didn't want to fight it, I don't really recall. Um, okay, casual pillow bags. Oh no, this is the place I was trying to get to. Oh. That machine was built to kill hunters. And that's an apex one as well. That's fun. So these are weak to ice. And they're onto me already. Can't override this, can I? Or yeah, that's an apex one as well. Let's see if this gets me anywhere. I would get one shot. Though I probably should have expected as much because I don't really have the most defensive armor right now. Although it is a legendary armor, like the resistances on this are nothing to scoff at if you compare it to um, this one that I had before. It has like significantly more of everything. Although it is weaker against fire, yeah, that could be an issue. <laughs> the thing I was about to say is this outfit is fine, but the lack of silent strikes and uh, stealth sting, stealth little stealth ranged and stuff doesn't make this the most useful up front whereas this with the concentration plus two at the very start and like everything else regen this one is actually just flat out better in a lot of scenarios so it is very much possible that i'm not going wait what i passed by that thing Shouldn't that have, like, unlocked for me? Hmm. I'm going the wrong way again. Um. Oh? Okay. So... Where was that chest? Did I get that chest? Hold on, where is Stormarch? Stormarch is that way. So I was on... This hill, that was the chest I got, and this was the way I floated. Okay. Kind of struggled orienting myself there. Um, what was I about to say? I think it was something that I was uh, near that campfire earlier, so I think I should have triggered it and respawned there, but I'm not too sure. Hmm, I'm just thinking, because the other outfit is better, I will not deny that, but this is the outfit that I've been wanting to get for so long. I'm just trying to think, what is the best use case for this outfit that I can think of right now? Definitely for Rebel Outposts, uh, that is like very high on the list. Maybe sneaking around other areas and getting some overrides and kills when farming components. Maybe some quest stuff where I need to be sneaky. But in the general sense, I think this outfit is not good until I upgrade it some more. Because the best boosts that it has are locked behind levels. Which is fair. Unlucky, but fair. Save this time. Fire is wasted on that machine. Oh, great, an 
Apex uh, Red Eye. Yeah, the lack of um, the other stealth outfit that I had had plus two in low profile. This one has plus one, maybe? Yeah, it does have plus one at least. But that plus two was incredibly potent at hiding my presence. It's kind of unfortunate, there are wide moss nearby, and if I did unlock the override for wide moss, I could actually come back here to take on that apex battle back, but sadly, I don't think I unlocked that override itself yet. I think I have all the components for it, I just didn't get it yet. Where is that other watcher? Oh, did it go over there? Hold on, I'm getting a call, I'm sorry. Okay, and I am back. Sorry about the little interruption. I got a call from one of my parents about something important that we've been working on, so it's probably best that I hear them out. I wonder how much HP this thing has. Would a silent strike be able to take it down, I wonder? I mean, only one way to find out, right? That 
that actually worked. I'm surprised. I'm kind of surprised that I got caught there. Because I do have like plus 3 and low pro profile in total. And I don't think it was looking right at me. I think it was walking away from us, so it's kind of impressive. is the path of that thing. Myself. I didn't think I'd get the full status effect from a single bomb though. Overdraw. Okay, <laughs> it just artillery shot me through the wall. Well, that was unfortunate to say the least. Though that did show me something interesting. I one-shot that creature, like that red-eye from the from the shadows, which is kind of crazy to me. And they're gone now. Well, shit. I mean, this is a freebie into this facility right now, but at the same time, I think I could use an Apex Battleback resource for something. Lord knows what. But yeah, that was unlucky. There is still that other one that I need. I need an Apex Slither Fang for that, I think. Now, where am I gonna find an Apex Slither Fang? That's a topic for a different time, though. First of all, how do I get up in this building? The reason I'm thinking about the Apex Slither Fang component is because of the other outfits that um, would boost my machine's damage. And so if I could call it, uh, call in my asset claw strider, that's gonna be like super duper useful to farm things like random apex machines that I encounter while looking around. What is that noise? Okay. So there is a metal flower this way. accidentally fell through here and now I feel like this is the place that I shouldn't be at. There's so much background noise, like what is going on? Ancient valuables, metal flower, is that all there is in this entire building? That would be astonishing to me. Let's climb up here again. Going down. That was actually a cool jump by me. Well done, me. Okay, um... So there's one more valuables chest and then a metal flower, and that's about it. 
Okay. Where's the chest? Uh, let's get to the flower first, maybe. I feel like that's gonna be the more important one. Just because I want to get it off the minimap as well. Guess this is how I get in here. I don't really know what the point of this was. It was so much easier to get in here through the roof than through this way. Okay, so let's get this final chest if I can. Do I need to get through this stuff first? And <laughs> I'm glitching through the... Maybe not glitching, but like cheesing myself through the building. Cool beans. Man, that was like really surprising, just three chests for this entire complex. Very surprising. I was gonna farm those tiger Rippers real quick. Um, should I do it? Probably not a bad idea. Yeah, I'll do like one or two tie drippers if they're there, and then just move on. Probably also a good idea to switch to my other outfit. But we will see when we get there. Which is now. Seriously, just aggro's on me right away. Oh, this music, though. Chill water canister. Processing capsule. Quest resource? canister. Let me double check what uh, parts I need for my outfit. Primary nerve and tail fins. Shock him, that's probably a good idea.
Oh, seriously? Wow. Talk about unlucky. Actually, I could have overridden it there. That might be an interesting technique as well. But first I need to get it further away from that hill, so that its tail doesn't glitch into the floor. Music, it is so hype. Shots its throat for good measure. But that didn't really work out as I had troubles. You know what? That might be a good time. Hey! get the Shredder Gun with it. Even though I am still not really using it properly. In the sense that um, to really use it properly I need to catch the blades as they return. But that is very difficult considering circumstances and maybe also because of the difficulty I'm playing on. Ripper down. Yay, primary nerve, exactly what I needed. Uh, now I need its fin tail still. Now where did I destroy that part? Oh crap. Please tell me I can find this again at some point. Is that it? No, that's the canisters. Oh, poo, where did I get its fin? Oh no, don't tell me it despawned. Are you kidding me? Please tell me you're kidding me. So I fought it all the way over here. Does it mean that... I killed the tail somewhere over here? That is so lame. I fought this tide ripper for its tail and then the tail is gone. 
or it just despawns because it took so long. There's one more thing over there, though I doubt it's the thing I'm looking for. It might be worth a shot, though. Wait. <gasps> yes! Oh, thank god I didn't give up on that. Is there something up here? I saw something up here, though I don't need to climb it for that, but I mean, I need to get out of the water to scan it, I think. Greenshine chunk. Fun fact, I also found a cluster of greenshine near that dreadwing that I killed off stream. So I didn't want to just get it by myself. Because, again, I'm trying to keep as much as possible on stream. Oh, this is a cute little spot. So maybe someday, someday I will get that cluster that I found before. Does make you think, is there like a place where I can buy green shine, I wonder? I've already been going for more than an hour again. It's crazy how much you can do in this game and how little you can do at the same time. Let's maybe go back to the base. There are some quests I still want to do. But I think heading back to the base seems advisable right now. So I need to get back up here. Not sure if I can climb the mountain. Let's maybe quickly hand in this uh, quest first with Ateka. See what we get from it. Looks like the water's cleared up around here. I should find Ateka. Oh yeah, I just noticed these red flowers aren't part of the scenery. It's just actually the water being poisoned and stuff. So over here. just recounting your deeds at the dam. Our deeds. We did it together. True enough. Look around. Thornmarsh is free of the blood choke. We don't have to live in fear of the poison. It feels like for the first time in months, we can wash our wounds with clean water. And how are you feeling, Zella? Ready to hunt. <laughs> Not yet, Good. little warrior. I promised you a reward, equal to your deeds. I cannot think of anything more fitting than this. Thank you. Wherever your travels take you, Aloy. May you always fly on the wings of the ten. I feel like I might have gotten a weapon or something. To knock the reaver. Ooh, what's that? Is it an outfit? 
Oh, yes, it is. Valor on impact, low health, valor, stamina regen, and weapon stamina. <gasps> Heavy lifter! Oh, that's like the thing that I asked for earlier. That's actually really cool. Plus 2 to heavy weapon movement speed. Since when do I have this outfit? Why did I never use this? Peculiar. So let me double check with um, clothing guy what exactly it is I need for the machine outfit. I know it's an Apex Slitherfang heart, similar to the Apex Dreadwing heart that I needed for the Utaru Winterweave. Oh, I don't like towns like this that are super difficult to navigate. Some of them become logical after a while, but I feel like this one just doesn't. So, Tanakh Tactician. Thunderjaw Circulator, I have that, and an Apex Slitherfang Heart. Okay. As soon as I get a few more upgrades uh, in melee, I think I'll be able to handle a lot more melee pits. But until that time comes, I'm just not gonna risk going to pits and being stood up because my skills aren't up to par yet. So let's have a little fun by checking out a Slitherfang site real quick. Can I progress time at Las Vegas, I wonder? I cannot say for sure. Hmm. Oh, there's a metal flower over here. Is there a camp nearby? It doesn't look like it. But you know what? Let's make our way to the camp. Get a metal flower, head up north, find a Slitherfang. It's not nighttime, I want to find a camp to turn it to nighttime because apparently apexes are more common during the nighttime. But maybe nighttime might come soon. At least we have our stuff back. The locator shows there's another recording in there. Oh, cool, another recording. I mean, the appeal of this uh, whole endeavor has kind of been diminished by the fact that... I should read that contract when I get a chance. I feel like my reward isn't gonna be the chance of flight, but just, you know, a blast sling. I'm cooking my armor in this heat. So it could be a nice blast sling still. Hey, 6 of 12. It's kind of sad to be honest. Looking to trade some hardware. The focus has detected another flight recorder. Where is it this time? Because I still don't see it on the map. I'm pretty sure. I mean, there's a drone, I know that one. But no flight recorders. I still need flight for that one tall neck. I just don't know how I'm gonna get flight. Again, I don't really look up stuff for this game. I just kind of experience it. But that doesn't mean that 
Don't I need a behemoth part? Hmm. I could use a behemoth part, but then I need to fight two ravagers as well. I could override them, but... Ravager to come close. Please, like, come closer. Over it is doing work. Okay. My Ravager is about to. I mean, crystal breathing is fine. I guess Behemoth Circulator would be useful at some point. Even if not now. Okay. I thought I got that kill, but I think my uh, thingy got it. My claw strider. There should be slither fangs nearby. Oh, I already past them, whoops. It's not an apex one. that I need, but it's worth a shot. That whiffed? My days. Fire is useful against it. Oh, but that is uh, an explosive thing as well, isn't it? healing there. I feel like I was almost full HP. Don't know how far of a setback that's gonna be. 
Yeah, I figured as much. Okay. No slither fang here. Let's quickly go here. Very quickly. Where's the closest spot? Um. I guess over here. Do, 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 do. And after we check out this spot real quick. What is that noise? Um, after we check out this spot real quick, let's head to... Whatchamacallit? The base. So I do need some plowhorn parts as well. Hmm. Is it worth fighting these things right now? Perhaps on a more focused quest. It does call, it looks like it's on a mission. I can see a tall neck in the distance. Is that the render distance of this game? Wow, and its legs are actually moving in and everything. Wow, that is crazy far. That is legitimately impressively far. Is that the town? I guess it must be. 40 meters. Another metal flower here. This will break my fall. That's a normal one. I don't really care to fight it right now. Um, and I could maybe sneak in there for the metal flower, but yeah, not worth it either. So let's head back to base and continue with the actual quest. As in like the main quest. Is it still chasing after me? Oh, that's a problem. Pissing off. Man, snakes are the worst to fight. Oh, whoops. Shot the wrong one. thing from here. Probably not. It's gonna be way too tough of a shot, but you know, stay optimistic.
boy, I need your earth grinders. That was a really bad whiff. And right as I was about to shoot him, he died. Unlucky. I didn't want to kill it, but... Also, I don't think... Although... Did I get any of the grinders? Probably not. Also, this thing moved so much. Don't think I can be bothered to look around for it. Well, since this is cleared anyways... making a decent amount of progress in terms of actually collectibles and stuff. I have done a fair amount of metal flowers, though I still need to do many of them, I think. I've got half of the drones, I think. I've, I still need to do a lot of ruins, though. I only have like f three or four out of ten out of the projector, projector thingies for Moreland. Better than nothing, though. Whoa. Is that that thing all the way over there? Or this thing? Whoa, I just realized that's a giant machine. Is that the same as here near Plainsong? It looks even bigger. Damn. Crazy stuff. Uh, base, 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 base. I've never gone to this campfire. Maybe this campfire is faster. I find it kind of silly how the plasma status effect is new. And they make it so almost all monsters are weak against plasma. It makes it so, so incentivized to use. It's not a bad status effect, but at the same time, it's not great like corrosion. Just kind of makes you think, like, what do you expect me to do with this every single time against every single enemy? Um, supplies chest is here. 320 shards, that's not bad. So, this data is from a weapon of mass destruction, or a game. Great. <laughs> Let's talk to Alva. Aloy! Right to work, I see. There's just so much. I mean, we knew of artificial beings that served the ancestors, but Gaia? Oh, she's amazing! A and you, a true reincarnation of an ancestor. Genetically speaking, of she is so happy. Like the um, late CEO. And there's more ancestors out there, returned from beyond the stars. Of course, they're trying to kill us, which is not great. And Eric Visser is with them, which is disturbing. And then there's Hephaestus, and... Okay, okay, how about we take it one step at a time? You're right. I also owe you an explanation for everything that happened at Landfall. I completely forgot that Alva would get along nicely with Gaia. That's actually really cute. Uh, yeah, let's do this real quick and then carry on. You mentioned the reason you came here was to help your family. Your sister... Her name is Alika. Our parents are commoners. Peasants, really. When I passed the divination exams, they were so proud. It brought honor to our family and increased rations. Only Alika begged me not to leave for the research academy. Why? What happens there? Alika knew that once you enter, you're not allowed to leave or see anyone. Not even your family. Uh, unless you can get special permission and an escort by an overseer. It sounds harsh. 
Like the focuses we keep, diviners are few in number, and the Empire is, well, fearful that outsiders will try to steal our knowledge. Last time I was allowed to see my family was just before our voyage here. Because of my position, I was able to get them refuge from the floods within the capital. But if our crops don't recover soon, they'll starve to death along with everyone else. I promise I'll do my best to make sure it doesn't come to that. Alva looks well fed though, so I wonder if just because she's part of like the upper echelon of the Quen that she is getting proper food, whereas her family isn't. Um, also makes me wonder, can she like sacrifice her food to send it to her family? Though when she's on an expedition in landfall, that's probably a bit difficult to do. Um, yeah, it's always kind of weird how that stuff works. I mean, it should be possible, right? If you're like part of the upper class of your clan or whatever, that you just choose to send your food to your family instead of just eating it yourself. The ancestors, is that what your people call the old ones? Yes and no. The ancestors are the greatest of the old ones. Those whose legacy taught us agriculture, medicine, warfare, leadership, and patronage of the science and arts. The CEO called Elizabeth Sobek an assistant. What's that about? Right. Well, any old one who has made minor contributions or worked extensively under one of the ancestors is called an assistant. That's how we thought of Sobek. Until we met you. Our limited access to data past the late 2040s has obviously uh, misinformed our view of the past. Hmm, that's kind of sad. You said you owed me an explanation for what happened in Thebes. I'm listening. Right. I'll start at the beginning with the CEO. He was an Imperial, the Emperor's nephew, in fact. As such, he sponsored many diviners to search the legacy for anything that might help the tribe, and himself. He took a special interest in anything related to Ted Farrow, whom we consider the greatest of the ancestors. Ted Farrow, revered ancestor. That's tough to take. I know better now, of course. Anyway, the diviners discovered that Farrow spent a great deal of time in San Francisco. In fact, many of the most important ancestors did. So the Emperor's nephew convinced him that an expedition across the ocean might solve our most pressing problems. If only we could find the right data in this fabled city. Perhaps we could roll back the floods and storms that threatened our people. The Emperor declared that all the tribe's resources be poured into this endeavor. Dozens of ships were built, scouting missions were dispatched, and the Emperor's nephew was named Sio, one who wields the legacy for the good of the Empire. The living embodiment of Ted Farrow, a renewer. It may seem strange now, but for a time, he carried all of our hopes. We really believed he would save us. We had no idea just how perilous the journey would be. Hmm. You said the expedition across the sea was more dangerous than you thought it would be. What happened? We lost most of our ships to hurricanes, and scores of soldiers perished to hunger and disease. And that was before we even hit the coast. Once we landed, machines ripped our patrols apart, and we struggled to replenish our rations. There were bright spots, to be sure. We found Thebes and the greenhouse. But nothing improved the CEO's mood as his dreams of saving the tribe were slowly dashed. He became more and more obsessed with Thebes and what lay behind its door. And more and more convinced that the title of CEO was no mere honorific. You heard him, spouting nonsense about Pharaoh's essence and some kind of becoming. We knew these weren't the words of a sane man, but he was quick to put any who spoke out in front of a firing squad. What a great guy. The Quen are wrong about many things when it comes to the legacy. I can see that now, but what the CEO became was a complete perversion of what principal diviners stand for. The pursuit of truth. Uh, I'm sorry you had to endure his madness. I'm just glad it's over. For everyone. 
It's kind of crazy how the pursuit of truth is always construed into different meanings and probably corrupted. It's kind of sad. So, Bohai, your overseer, will he run things better than Sio? He won't execute people on a whim, if that's what you mean. But he's hardly a paragon of integrity. I can't tell you how many times he took credit for data in the legacy that I uncovered. The best thing I can say about him is that he can be trusted to always do what's best for him. Yep, sounds about right. Forbidden knowledge. Back at the greenhouse, you spoke of knowledge forbidden to your people. Diviners are meant to seek out the truth in the legacy. And many Imperials sponsor them in the hopes they'll find something the Empire can put to use, thus gaining favor with the Emperor. But the Board of Overseers claims certain truths are detrimental to the stability of the Empire, like discovering one of our revered ancestors ended the world. That is why Diviners are only allowed to access segments of the Legacy. Only Overseers can view it all. It ensures that any heretical data can be contained and retrieved before it can spread. What happens to Diviners who break the rules? I never had the courage to ask. No. Alright, let's uh, go back to Gaia. I need to get going, but if you need anything... All I need is to help you succeed in your mission. The plan Gaia told me about to capture Hephaestus, it will help set things right? I hope so. Then I will do whatever I can. I promise. I wonder if I carry on this route, um, will Gaia lock me into the next quest? Hmm. I guess there's only one way to find out. Is this the right way? No, it is not. What is the right way? Oh, wait, is it? Oh, I didn't know that there was always a door in between there. Let's quickly put some drones in here, because why not? Let's see what we got. Oh, wait, hold on. Do these drones reveal locations? I like this one. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay, okay. So part of me just ex anticipated maybe the drones, kind of like tall necks, reveal the area around them. Wait, where's that final tall neck that I can't get? Wait. Where is that tall neck? Isn't it somewhere over here? I'm pretty sure there was a tall neck over here. I'm gonna investigate that because that is very peculiar. Quests, tall necks. Wait, what? Cinnabar sands, top of the dish, okay. That's the still sands one. That's the one in salt bites. Stand of the sentinels and landfall. Okay, that's that one. That's the salt bite one. Oh, 
I am so flustered right now. So what I was thinking is that maybe the drones scanned the map and they could they could show locations of things and stuff like tonics. But that doesn't seem the case, it's just to adjust the scenery within Gaia. Aloy, I know your experience in Thebes was unsettling, but we have a new problem. Did something go wrong with Beta and the rig? Will we be able to transport you to Gemini? The rig is complete. The problem is Hephaestus itself. It has accelerated its proliferation throughout the Cauldron Network, increasing its power. But with your sub-functions restored, we can still succeed, right? Correct. But the net effect is that absorbing Hephaestus will take longer than previously calculated. How long? Even with Omega clearance, my current estimate is that the murder 35 will hours. 35 hours. And each hour increases the risk of detection by the Zeniths. Two cores. Two overrides. What if the merge were carried out by two clones of Elizabeth Sobek, both armed with Omega clearance? How long then? Half the time? Hephaestus would be unprepared for the simultaneous labor of two operators, in addition to obvious synergetic efficiencies. Calculating. It would reduce the merge time to approximately 4.5 hours. Whoa. Okay. Varl, it looks like we're gonna need Beta at Gemini. Do you think you can convince her? Uh, I don't know, but I'll try. What about our diversion? Are the pulse generators ready? Only a final test remains. I am confident that if fired in proximity to other cauldrons, the pulses will mask our activities at Gemini from the Zeniths. Good. As long as Aaron can operate one without shooting himself in the face. Aloy, you better get down here. Beta's in bad shape. Okay. Oh no. Maybe she is scared of the confrontation with the Zeniths. That would make sense. Let's tag this so I know where to go. I mean, Beta has been a little bit bitchy sometimes, but I don't want her to be Aloy. feeling bad. I tried, but it's impossible. I don't think anything will convince her to go. We don't have a choice. Good luck. Beta, you have to come with us. It's the only way. It's one mission. The most important one. We need you. Tell me why you won't go. What if they... What if they take me back, alone, in a cell again? A slave. Forever. Laurel and I will be at Gemini too. I'll protect you. As soon as we get Hephaestus, we'll come straight back here. The Zeniths aren't going to find us. You don't have to be afraid. No! You can't protect me! Nothing can protect me from them! I told you from the beginning, we'll never beat them! It's hopeless! Beta... Leave me alone! You don't understand! Please be a public moment. You're right. I don't understand. We have the same genes, the same mind, the same heart. So why can't you find the strength to do what has to be done? Like Elizabeth would. Don't you think I've thought about that? I don't know what piece of Elizabeth I'm missing. I don't know what you have that I don't. I look through all the data from your focus. You were raised as an outcast, shunned and isolated just like me. So what's the difference? What's my defect? Maybe Rust?
please pull up a picture of Rust. Oh, that makes me emotional right now. The thought of that. <gasps> yes! Rita. You don't have a defect. Rita. Look, it's not a piece of Elizabeth. The difference is... I had him. Frost. He raised you, trained you, but he was never warm or loving. The day he died, the day he gave you that charm, he was going to abandon you. He wanted me to embrace the tribe. But then he gave his life for mine. He loved me in his own way. And that was enough. What did he feel like? It was like having a strength that was always there. It's still there. Even now I hear him in my head when things get bad. But it looks impossible. Look deeper. And then fight like you can win. You don't have to go on the mission. We'll find another way. I'll go. You said you'd try to protect me. I believe you. No. But you have to promise me one thing. Yes, of course. I know what she's gonna say. bad. If the Zeniths find us, I don't want to be their slave again. Do you understand? Okay. Promise? I promise. I could use as much time as you can give me to study up on the merge, to make it as efficient as possible. Hug, 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 hug. I'll be ready when you are. I swear. Well, she needs time, so that means more farming. <laughs> Aloy, whenever you are ready, come speak to me, and I'll ask the others to make final preparations for the mission. I... Hmm. First of all, I've got a tear rolling down my cheek because, I don't know, something about seeing Rost there kind of got to me. Um, more importantly though, um, I have a feeling that this is like one of the final missions. Or like we are very fast approaching the final mission. Which, in a sense, is kind of worrying for me. This one is very useful. Um, hold on, resonated damage. Oh yeah, I should probably get this one as well. So resonated damage there. And here again. Okay, cool. Progressing through the warrior tree. Um... I'm gonna be honest, I don't feel like I am ready for the final mission yet. So I don't want to do this yet, in all honesty. Oh, looks like I can open that door now. For once I'd have to agree. I'd rip those things to shreds in a fight. Oh, quest for Alva. I hope I'm not interrupting. Not at all. I was just studying the pulse generator schematics. The ones Gaia and Beta built. <laughs> the craftsmanship is remarkable. Is everything alright? 
It sounded like there was an uh, issue with Beta and the mission. Not anymore. We just needed to talk some things through. To understand one another is to embrace truth. Oh, and uh, if you have a moment, there's something I could use your help with. All right, let's hear it. You mentioned there was something you needed help with? Yes. Uh, so, as I was sifting through data from the greenhouse, I found references to an old world system back in the Great Delta. It's called Leviathan. My people discovered it decades ago. A sprawling network of river gates and a labyrinth of underground tunnels. The legacy revealed that the old ones used it to control flooding. But we've never gotten it to work. The whole thing is shut down. But the data from the greenhouse mentions the research facility where Leviathan was created. It's in San Francisco. Another Pharaoh facility? No. Leviathan was a project by Eileen Sasaki, another ancestor. So the legacy tells us, anyway. Hmm. If we can acquire that data, we might be able to fix the system back in the Great Delta. Every year, my sister gets terrified when the long rains begin. With Leviathan, maybe she won't have to be. Okay. So where in San Francisco is this facility? That's the thing. The data doesn't say where, exactly, but one of our diviners has been exploring the ruins. He might know. Would you come with me? I have a feeling that wherever this facility is, well, you're much better at fighting machines than I am. Of course. I'll let you know when I'm in landfall. Thank you, Aloy. How do these people even get to other parts of the map Make easily? Sure you talk to Gaia if you have any questions about the pulse generators. May your path lead to truth. Because I can fast travel, but I can also ride on chargers. And like I said, I'll let you know when I'm in landfall. We'll find the data you're after. I appreciate it. But then, like, I guess Alva could learn to override machines as well. But. Can she, like, ride a charger? I'm not so sure. Uh, I need to take this exit. Ah, <gasps> fabrication first. Completely forgot. Still need metal fangs for a dreadwing. It would be cool to be able to override the slaughter spine, though I don't have any of the things yet. And I still need three earth grinders for the slither fang override. I really want to know what this machine is. I desperately want to know. So you know what? I think doing the next cauldron is looking like a very tempting offer. Forget it. The man is unbeatable. Yeah, I'm not gonna immediately go to uh, to Gaia. I think I'm gonna do something short still. Um, one final thing to close out the stream. But after that, I'm gonna be done for today. Going gently. Oh, you don't have any more rumors for me? That's a first. That's the whole reason why I came out this way. See, there is one here. I wasn't going crazy. Okay, I want to check out what the deal is with that uh, tall neck again. I bet I can't climb on it still, but I still want to know. to have to fly onto this thing. I think my best bet is a Thunderbird. A uh, Thunderbird. A Stormbird. Sorry, I was distracted by the thunder jaw I saw. Um, is that an Apex one? I do need an Apex part. No 
time like a present, right? muscles to to actually craft a lot of useful ammo still oh my days I am so screwed why do I feel like my aggressive uh, overrides have gotten significantly significantly less aggressive Inside this plane, this is really bad. Oh, 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 I'm like... Sorry, I need this thing's parts, so I don't want to die here. But it's not an easy fight, to say the least. To sneeze. Bad timing. No, my claw strider is down. That's very bad news. You know what? Let's go invisible. Uh, no, not outfits. Skills. hoping that my Apex Claw Strider would be slightly more useful, but as I was saying earlier before I got distracted, um, I feel like my Claw Striders have gotten significantly less aggressive. don't really know why, and now it's not an Apex anymore. Yeah. Okay, that was a waste. So what we're going to do is we will head to Gemini, but there is also, wait, where's the other one? There was another cauldron here. There's also key still. Am I ready for key? I'm not sure. I think it's worth giving a shot. If I... I'm not gonna make the same mistake as Kappa. I'm gonna fast travel there. Although, let's first restock on some resources. Where's the closest place I can do that? Uh, Thorn March... Hmm. Could go to hunting grounds. You know what? Is there another Slitherfang site that I can go to? Probably not. Like, oh, there was this one. You know what? 
Screw it. Um... It is nighttime as well. That is convenient. So I do still have my claw strutter, which is great news. But I'm going to restock on resources. And then I will... Snakey boy? <gasps> it's an apex. I need this, I need this, I need this, I need this. That is kind of very bad news. Because... Plasma and fire. I'm not too stuck on resources right now. left, which is a big problem. Let's see, is my outfit weak against electricity? Not really. But I'm gonna stick with it, because it's the most offensively useful one. Let's attack it more. I'm actually so pleased with myself that I had the idea to come here. No! Oh, this requires machine muscles as well. And that one as well. Jesus. Okay, this is starting to become a problem. Okay, fire was still useful against it. That's something. Still hit me. Don't have much healing left. Now's my chance. Let me check what fire does again. Just because I really need uh, any little bit I can help, I can get right now. Uh, resources attacking elemental damage, just damage over time. Okay. Oh 
Oh boy. Yes, acid state, fantastic. You know what? Let's go full damage right now. I got an Apex Slitherfang. Oh, that is actually fantastic. Apex Slitherfang hearts! Hell yeah. Okay, so now I can get the Tanakh Tactician as well. <gasps> that is so useful. Okay, 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 okay. I'm so excited right now. My little pedantic endeavor has finally paid off. Oh, Apex Bristlebacks. Oh, you know what? I kind of want to kill these. But I don't know if my pet can take them, because I'm dangerously low on resources. So what are you weak against? Ice. Oh, but you do have the fire canisters on your back still. I think... but it just really surprises me how lackluster I feel like aggressive overrides have been, especially these um, asset call striders. actually help with this maybe this one let's equip it instead of this one because I barely use it oh, oh, oh this is actually bad news That one should explode, maybe? Or maybe because it needs to be repaired it's not very aggressive? I'm not so sure.
one should blow up. Alright, my health is really getting low right now. I feel like my best course of action is almost to go invisible, swip, swap to my very shitty stealth outfit, and then just get an overheal from a stealth attack. Impressive how quickly Aloy can uh, swap to all these outfits in the middle of combat. By the way. Look at that overheal. Okay. Quickly swap to my legendary outfit again. I really think that this Claw Strider is set to defense, even though it should be offense. There's no way that it would be this passive otherwise. here. Or not. Ah, oh, considering um, me talking about needing Apex components, I felt like it was worthwhile to take these down. Even though... Okay, I was about to say, I feel like I didn't really get many hearts from them. Let's quickly go to this site just to unlock it, restock, and then go get a tactician, and then maybe make our way to the cauldron and call the stream there. I'm seriously so happy that I found a random apex slither fang. Place to rest. That was a tough fight though, considering my resources. But now, we should be good. Yeah. Awesome. I feel like it might be interesting to actually unlock the thing where I unlock where I get more ammo for less resources at these crafting stations. Hmm. This is actually also something very worthwhile to upgrade. A bass boom. Do I not have a goose feather? I really need a resource pack. How have I not gotten resource packs, like, at all? Usually that's like the first thing I upgrade. Don't care about potions. Don't care about bombs, don't care about spikes. This could be useful. Actually, yeah, that burst, that full auto fire with the bolt caster is super duper useful. Food could be useful as well, so it's precision arrows. Okay, so. Um, first things first. Today was a good stream. <laughs> Walk with strength. Honor and strength. So there is the cauldron to do, there is collectibles to do, there is rebel camps to do. Uh, the rebel camps do also get me tags. I don't know what those tags get me. And I just realized um, I could check these side quests for rewards. Though all of it is just face paint so far. Hmm. I 
know you. Oh. Hey, friend. Lasting overrides. Machine elemental plus 75% damage. <laughs> More health and quiet movements. Um, the weave is machine damage. <gasps> oh, that is actually sick. That means I can put that on anything. Oh. And quiet movement as well. Interesting. So I was mostly looking towards this outfit because of the elemental and the damage. The low profile could be useful as well. Wow, if you could put like two low profiles on an outfit, I bet you're just invisible. I wonder if there's a cap to how many over levels you can get. Anyways, I got it. Let's see how much it takes to upgrade this one, because that machine weave it seems super useful. The workbench should be over here somewhere. Oh yeah, it's here. I remember this. Outfits. Stormbird Storm Cannon. Three legendary parts. Oh boy. More Tide Ripper parts. Ooh. And an Apex Ravager. And this is just a ton more Thunderjaw things. Hey, look, a Thunderjaw heart. Wouldn't that have been useful to have earlier? Huh. And three Apex Behemoths. Jesus Christ. Like. I bet you're expected to max these in New Game Plus because so many rare components. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna do a farming stream or what at some point, but... Oh right, I should probably heal. <laughs> probably store a potion or something. Inventory tools. I don't care about you. Let's get you instead. Oh no, that's a small one. I need a medium one. Okay. Get some of you. And then finally... I could make some more smoke bombs, which I learned recently I can do at the... I didn't learn, because um, that makes it sound like I looked this up offline. I noticed this when I was a work at a workbench recently, but I don't think I mentioned it. Um, Ice Storm Bolt Blaster. Ooh, long range damage for a short range weapon. Uh, and this one seems useful though. Sunwing. I really need to start killing like Sunwings and Skydrifters and stuff. Maybe one day. I have no idea why I did that. Because now I need to make the long way around. Uh, that's the entrance, right? Yeah. So the fire should be... Hey, oh, there's so many errands to do as well. I was only looking at side quests earlier. The Enduring gives me permanent spear damage. Still need to do that. But I have some more warrior stuff to unlock first. Jobs, salvage contracts. <clears throat> oh, Apex Bellback Hearts. Interesting. Also from Artificer. Oh, right, that's an outfit, isn't it? Wait, is that going to be a legendary outfit? Because all of this stuff is not easy to do. So talk to the lead salvager, find other salvage camps. So... That is Rondas, and that is the other one. 
if I do those those two, does that mean I get the outfit? I wonder. Also don't know what that is. Don't know what that is. <laughs> and no clue what that is. Also, there is still this thing that is tantalizing me. Fly to the mountaintop. I don't know how to fly. Teach me how to fly. So first things first, let's quickly go to this campfire. Okay, let's make a manual save here. So now if something goes wrong in the cauldron or the cauldron is kicking my butt, then at least I have a way to get out of it again. Should I go into it and give it a try still? I think I should. So first of all, let's just in case, stick with our regular outfit. Should we go for the stealthy one? Hmm. Let's stick with, stick with the regular one. And let's see what Cauldron Key has to offer us. Let's also unequip this crap. And I lost all of my food fighting that apex, but it was worth it. Whole doorway is tangled. I doubt I can get through. Maybe there's some other way in. Find a different entrance. That's a stalker. I need to search more cauldrons to learn how to override that. Just a red eye, right? Yeah. Um, can I get in here from the waterfall down below? Because I don't see anything here. Let me check the map. Those who don't dare don't succeed. Geronimo. And there we go. These walls. That overgrown cauldron I found. Maybe this is part of it. That totally paid off. So let's see what we have here. Whoa, whoa. I should. Oh, I made a mistake. I should have refilled on my ammo and then restocked again. That is my fault. That was pretty stupid, but oh well. Okay, nothing here. Knock knock. Hmm. Oh, that looks like a clamber jaw. Alright. Looks like some sort of canister. That looked menacing as heck, I'm not gonna lie. And clamber jaws, like baboons in real life, are just seem kind of harmless at first, but they are terrifying when you actually have to fight them. That canister room works. I should be able to reach that ledge now. Well, that's convenient. A grapple point on a, canis a canister. Is 
there are Apex ones. Oh no! It's actually surprising that there is none Apex ones here. Let's put you on aggressive. Are you attacking me? Seriously? Uh, what the hell? Why is my override attacking me? Okay, reset this, because I did not agree to that. What the frick? So I had a theory earlier about how overrides seem to have gotten reduced or something, but to actually turn against me, that is like kind of crazy to me. Give it maybe one more attempt, but put it on defensive. Let's swap to focus shot. On the apex one first. Oh, cool. So that one attacks me as well. Is it because I'm in a cauldron? That would be an interesting theory. But I don't know if I agree with it. Oh, I guess... It kind of makes sense because Hephaestus... Though at the same time, does it? Okay, so overrides don't work here. But why if Hephaestus would steal my overrides? Why wouldn't it show that, I wonder? Berserker Hunter arrow could also be interesting. Let's try it, because I never use this bow, ever. single shot actually triggered that. Is that Berserk one again only coming from me? Yeah it is. And now I'm getting knocked against the wall, which just stuns me over and over again. Yeah, okay. Interesting, I've never really um, discovered these things before, but I'm just gonna reset again because Final Boss is probably gonna kick my ass if I waste all my resources early on. Also, I just realized some extra healing potions would have probably been advisable. So, I can go for my stealth outfit again. Low profile and silence strike heal. Let's give it a shot. Looks like we've been busy. Did you seriously see me? How though? Oh great. Wonderful. Oh, 
Oops. Flicked my joystick there. Just trying not to waste too many resources. Probably going in Viz would be useful here. Just get some overheals. This nice girl. <laughs> and he just goes back to work. Let's go for focus shots. Yeah, okay. I have to find a way out of here. Let's make some more ammo. Just in case that we pick up more muscles than we can carry. Oh, there's a chest here that I missed. And so the next machine we see, we will try to stealth strike it. Hopefully get an overheal. Although I did just realize there are a lot of flowers in this as well. So, as in medicinal plants. Goody. I can't tell what that is in there. More canisters. What I can tell is that it's not going to be friendly. Ah, oh, poo, I should have used it first. That is too high. All right, I need uh, this. The shell walker thingy. This thing's stuck. There we go. Sure, if I did the right thing here. Oh, I see, I see, I see. I mean, I did 100% cost something that I shouldn't have, but first I need to put the thingy over here. Great. Look for higher ground so I can pull on that canister. Resources. Come on, I need machine muscles. I should be able to climb up that much now. Oh, I was about to say if that falls and I need to do something else again, it's gonna be frustrating. I don't know if you can hear the music. I don't really have my music very low on my recording, but damn, it is, is it tense? This is not the core, right? It's not gonna go down easy. 
Maybe there's something here I can use in a fight. Focus might help me. So, what can I do here? I was gonna say maybe I can override something, but then yeah, that won't work. Yeah, so the fire is gonna be helpful. Is there anything else far? There's that thing. If I time it right, could do a lot of damage to that frost claw. So yeah, I don't have many other options, so let's just wait for the frost claw to pass by the bellow back. And then blow it up. That did like no damage though. Oh, do I not have poison arrows equipped? <sighs> that was really scary. So yeah, the poison arrows are probably on the other bow. And since Berserk doesn't work here, let's just grab the other bow real quick. Whip. There. Let's go for round two. Focus arrow on a U. That's a kill. Then can I do shock thing on you? Sorry, I was kind of panicking there because of um, everything that was going on, and so I wasn't really talking too much. Oh, it's actually a miracle that I stopped there. I'm gonna 
have to heal, unfortunately. Here, that would be great. Oh, there's an enemy on my left lurking. But I need to make sure that I do not die here. miracle that I lost focus because of that. Does he not have his other poison canister? <gasps> he does! So that is something useful that I can do to damage this guy still. So I should probably focus shot this guy. I'm probably being a bit paranoid about my resources, but whatever boss is at the end of this, because of my experience with the Slither Fang earlier, I am just kind of afraid of wasting too many things. It's not just straight paranoid, it's paranoid from previous experience, which I think is a bit more warranted. Even if it's, it's still a bit silly, but you know, to each their own. Also because of my experiences in Cauldron Kappa, where I got completely obliterated by glitches, um, I just want to play it safe. Frost Cross Circulator, hmm. I think a heart would be useful, but I don't know if I'm only going to need um, Apex Frost Claw Hearts. Well, that's done. Okay! I these machines stick around if the cauldron's not working. I better get to the core, quick. I love the overheal on stealth attack. It really incentivizes you to go in and out of stealth a bunch. Which is kind of why I'm tempted to get it on my other outfit. But it's gonna be so much work though. What else can I loot here? I mostly need some medicine plants. And I see none of those, so okay. I am most definitely finishing after this cauldron or soonish because I'm getting a headache, I just noticed. Um, and the same logic that I said yesterday, it is best, because it's almost lunchtime again, or it's basically lunchtime again, it's best not to deviate from my usual routines just for the sake of streaming. I want to be at least a little bit consistent just for health and logic reasons. 
Um, I guess I need to pull that out. Oh, I'm gonna pull the armor rounds because of the crates. Um, okay. But where to next? Let's see if I can pull it this way. Can't reach. Is this about right? I mean, it looks about right. These rails usually carry materials to the cauldron's core. I follow them. I find what I'm looking for. So there is a line up there, which is interesting. Or is that the one I came from? It might be. Please muscles, no muscles. I have barely used purge water in my entire playthrough, just because I feel like the the weapons that have them are not really my style. Why is my controller vibrating so much? It's just a, a few ingots. Hmm. What are you supposed to be? Okay, I'm fully stocked on medicine. Let's see what this does. Like, I could look around for every resource cache, but at the same time it's just resource caches of stuff I can get anywhere. So for the sake of moving forward. Ooh. Going down. This seems way too easy. Also, I thought that was a machine at first, like an arachnoid kind of thing. Oh my days, I haven't seen an arachnoid yet in this game. Could you imagine? Although I guess the corruptors kind of count for that. Um, I see fire bellowbacks. So is this gonna be like a scary ice enemy? That really scarily looks like a spider. Not that I'm that scared of spiders, but it is somewhat unsettling these overrides ah! something's wrong what are these things hmm this is totally not ominous maybe ominous is not the right word just kind of foreboding why oh, I guess that's the same thing uh, can I not scan you? What am I supposed to do with you? There's nothing for my pole caster to latch on to. Scan, oh, scan. Duh. Looks like this regulates the power running through the core. This one's damaged. Heart's been taken. Huh, it's leaking. At least that means I can follow its trail. Okay then, figured as much it was gonna be too easy. Does it go up? Wow. Um, can I even get up here? Onto that. There's something on the other side of that shield. Uh, how do I get there? Oh, this way? But I need Whatever something. It must have climbed out of here. I need a surface to jump onto, which is exactly that that I need, but I need to disable the shield, so. Oh, there is a thingy on the other side. Oh, 
Okay, so I need to make my way back. I think. There has to be a way to follow the trail up there. And then maybe head down the other way? Let's find out. So down this way. But this is shielded off as well. Anything here that can help me? Nope, it's just as simple as going back, I think, and trying to find a different way inside the actual room that I was in. Probably a bit silly that I came back down. But I think um, my logic was at least a little bit sound. This one's damaged. The part's been taken. Huh, it's leaking. Guess that means I can follow this trail. Okay, so let's find our way inside here first, because I don't think I can jump up there. At least I don't think. Nope. Can't pull that. Oh, there's passageways over here. Kind of silly that I went around then. Or not around, but uh, back up. What's in here? Oh, there you are. Kind of like that there's a new tier of rarities, just the golden ones. Get this crate to those vents. Is it? I get zapped by that shield. Okay. I wonder if there is a end-all, be-all kind of outfit and weapon still in this game. Kind of like the shield weaver in the previous one. Talked about it before, before I found the legendary tier outfits here. But even with the legendary tier, I still wonder if there's like a big one above it. That you only get from like special quests or something. Okay, finally made my way up here. Now I remember why the last cauldron took so long. A scrap pile? I've never seen one so big. The machines must be scrapping the cauldron for parts. That's why they stuck around. Because uh, last time I took so long to do my first run through of Kappa, and then when I did a rerun, it was super quick. And yeah, it's because you genuinely do need to figure things out first. If I want to find anything around here, well, that's not it. Not the part I'm looking for. Don't need that. Uh, still not it. That's not it. Man, there's a lot of these. Not the part I'm looking for. Don't need that. Can't pick it up either. Found it. Oh, okay. It's just accessible. That's surprising. Oh. And no surprises there. I can't let it take that part back. 
I should get my bolt caster. Equip. Instead of you. This is exactly what I was banking on. Ooh, that hurt. Let's quickly reload you. Just in case. Forward thinking. Good job, me. Probably through there. Oh yeah, that's the shield that we were at earlier, so I can probably disable that and then take the elevator back up. But I need to find a way to get there first. Hmm. Looks like there used to be a bridge here. I need to reactivate it when we get this part across. Obviously. streaming for three hours again. I was thinking of making it a short stream today, but I just keep going. There's just so much stuff I want to get done in this game. But yeah, with the, real the, with the realization that the fight at Cauldron Gemini might actually be one of the final ones, I kind of feel like maybe it's it makes sense that I'm at the point where I am, if that makes any sense at all. Somehow it just hasn't really felt like we were approaching the endgame just yet because of all the intricacies with all the subroutines and whatever. But yeah, it does sound like the what's going to transpire at Gemini is gonna be very impactful at the very least for the story. Is be far enough? Yes, perfect. I think depending on how my fight at the Cauldron Core goes, perhaps I will call it quits right before the end boss simply to um, not have to go through 10 attempts, all of which take a shit ton of time. But that way I can just get to the final boss, leave it for the next stream, and then yeah carry on from there. Yeah, so this is where I was earlier. And there should be something down here as well. I spotted you earlier. Okay. Advanced vertical shock trap. Oh yeah, vertical traps are a thing. I completely forgot about that. Um, maybe I should use those more often. I did say I need to fight more sun wings and things of those. So I can get back to the core from here. Oh boy, this is gonna be a hassle. I did say I need to fight more sun wings and things along those lines. Ooh, 
well-designed uh, puzzles in every single Horizon game, but also <laughs> so long that they always take. Because they really make you take every single run that way that you possibly can. But it does, it does make it interesting. For example, the last uh, cauldron at Kappa, uh, you got to the core very quickly. But then actually getting to the core was like a whole ordeal. So it always makes you think like, ooh, I wonder what's going to happen next. It's kind of a contradiction in that it is foreshadowing, but in a good way. That it makes you think like, oh, there is more to come. I just realized, if I'm approaching the end of the game, that's gonna be like... <laughs> oh no. This is really necessary. I already reloaded you earlier, what? So I'm going to quickly switch to my good outfits, just in case. This has resistance against fire, perfect. Let's see if I can go in this now, get some more seven strikes off. seem a bit contradictive switching to the outfit that doesn't benefit from silent strikes and you are totally right. I love this invisibility so much. Not because it's overpowered or anything, just it's cool. And it's very beautifully animated. I'll strike you. through that. Unlucky. Did I hit any of his shock hamsters there? I don't think so. I just realized I haven't fought Clamber Jaws yet in the arena, so that's probably still on the docket. Fast. 
Whew, that was tense. I did not expect them to throw clamor jaws at me right as I was moving this arm, to be honest. So, yeah, probably makes sense, because I haven't really fought that many machines yet. Processed metal block. I haven't seen many of those before. <clears throat> Where did they go? Oh. I wasn't paying attention for a second because I was looking at uh, an email I just received since I was waiting for uh, them to lose focus anyways. I think getting off one more stealth strike to overheal would be fantastic. Just snipe it. I mean, I do have um, full muscle thingies, I just noticed. That's actually great news. But I'll just stealth strike it anyways. Again, for whatever extra overheal I can get. Spots me here because I'm just gonna. Whoop. Can I finally continue to the core now? Let's see. for the final fight, let's see what we have to face here. Let's swap to the good outfit so that we checkpoint on the good outfit. And let's see what it is that will come our way. I don't like the sound of that. Exactly my thoughts, I believe. There. Now we need to reboot it. Or not. Oh great, this is the thing. Down. 
enemies I did not want to face for a thousand. Oh, holy crap, why is it going so nuts? Hits the shock components. Let's see what's weak against fire. Not so. components. Funny how that works, isn't it? The snake machine is trying to distra distract me with its slithering, just like a real snake would. That was a really poor miss. But this fight should be doable in all honesty. That's right, these things are here. That was a waste. Let's go to the other one. resistant to my fire status effect even though it shouldn't be because it's weak to fire. Surge if I would want to. Ah, that was really dumb by me. Instant Dino Ever. That would be wonderful. Three, 
please die. Yes, okay. Go back to my plasma. My plasma destination got him, I think. So let's try this again. So I should be able to get some grind gears off of him. Which should also be the final components I need for the slither fang override, which is fantastic news. But I think there are two more things that need like apex slither fang hearts. And multiple other grinders and stuff, so I still have my work cut out for me in terms of killing them. Keep these on me. That's one. That's two. I think I got the third one as well. There's two more things over there. That's just canisters, that's not what I'm looking for. Yes, that's the third earth grinder. Okay, so that gets me somewhere at least. Either in terms of an outfit or in terms of wanting to get the override if I want to. Oh, and there's a golden chest here as well. Might as well heal and get some medicine while I'm at it. And that looks like everything. Might have missed something small, but in all honesty, do I care? Not really. Please get out of the way. Thank you. Yay, I got all horse. Sadly, I can't see them right now. So, Red Eye, Frost Claw, Shell Walker, Clamber Jaw, and there's one more Behemoth. I need to restore. Stalker. Shell snapper. Spike snout. Scorcher. Fire claw. Uh, that was kind of glitchy. I hope I actually make it out of there. Am I outside? I think I am. Oh, thank God. I'm pretty sure that Slither Fang made me glitch through the platform, so I fell down to the floor. And that was kind of scary. Okay. Um, there is one more thing I want to check out real quick. It won't take that long, but this will be the end of the stream. So, the fireplace is here. Let's fast travel. To the campfire. I want to see what that golden override is. I doubt I have access to it, but it might like, I'm really interested to see if there is anything of use that I can see here. I can open that door now. What is this? Oh, is this my quarters still? Yeah, looks like it. Let's restock on resources as well. 600 medicine. I think I should, that should suffice for a while. Oops, my phone just went off. I'm sorry if you heard that. Alright, let's check out what secrets do you have. Ooh, I can get the spike snout as well. See, there is one more override that I'm missing. I knew it. Hmm... Would it be... Well, it's probably going to be a Gemini, maybe. Um, don't think it's Corruptors. I don't think it's anything, like, massive, like the huge machines that we've seen. Could be Sentinels, maybe? Um, 
Right, is there a Stormbird? There is no Stormbird override? Or that is the one that we get at Gemini. That would make sense. Or at least one of the ones we would get at Gemini. So let's check here. Stormbird, where are you? Kappa overrides unlocked? Wait, I can override Stormbirds. <gasps> so, what is also interesting is Frost Claws and Fire Claws are different. I don't see a different Fire Claw here, but it did state that there were differences. Hmm. This is my workbench. Tanakh the Marshal. Yeah, I can't upgrade any of these, unfortunately. You know what? Let's unlock this leather fang as well while we're here. Lord knows it'll be useful, but it could be useful. Yeah, because here, Fire Claw. And then. Where's the Frost Claw? Oh, maybe the Frost Claw is one I automatically overrocked, and the Fire Claw I need to actually get myself? Hmm. So I still need Metal Fangs of those, Plow Horns, Hammer Tails, Scanning Ears, and Primary Nerves. Hmm. Okay, I would say that was a successful stream. Let's loot this chest. There is nothing in it. Never mind. Gaia, what's this space for? This would have been the sleeping quarters for control center operatives. Well, it's getting some use. Alva, Erend, Catalo. Seems crowded. What is that? Is that Kotala or something? Yes. Okay, um, where's the exit? Exit is... I always lose my way in this. Even though the exit sign is quite obvious and I should know this by now. But oh well. Okay, next stream. Genuinely don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, I need to power up a bit more, that's for certain. Um, let's travel somewhere random. Um, was there something useful here? I don't think so. Yeah, you know what? Let's just travel to here somewhere. And let's do the quest that Thingy offered me. Meeting place, that's Kotalo, that's Alva. You know what? I want to do this one. I want to help Kotalo get his arm. So let's fast travel somewhere close to there. Which is a ways off still. And hey, would you look at that? The shelter that I unlocked earlier is proving useful right now. So, with that, I am very pleased with what I accomplished this stream. I got the Otaro Winter Reef, even though I farmed the resource off stream. I got an Apex Slither Fang, got the final Cauldron. I went back to Gaia and I realized that we're approaching like endgame, which means that I do not feel guilty about over preparing a bit more. So, next stream, maybe I will upgrade some outfits, I will go through some more quests. And yeah, we'll see what we will do when we get there. Today is Sunday, so my work week is about to begin again. We will see when the next stream will be. But for now, I hope you had fun. Thank you for joining as always, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.